and uh, then we can we can always click beginnings and endings off. Yes, of course. Yes, That's recording now. Yes, please. I believe. Fabulous. Oh. Hi. Oh, aren't we pretty? Yes. And pretty. And so pretty. <sighs> We just know this is going online, <laughs> don't we? And fade to black. And it's melting time! We could not. Hello, everybody, we're back! We're back for season two! 2015, it's a brand new shiny year. And uh, we're stepping things up a notch, partly because, as you will eventually discover, we are video recording this to put some highlights online. Woo! Hello camera, for anybody who is watching. But not only that, we have decamped from our usual recording place <coughs> for this one special new season launch to my kitchen, because we have an experiment. Yes, we're going all Mythbusters on our own backsides. Oh yeah. We are going to test the myth that, well, basically, it's fried cheese! Hooray! We tease with the cheese! Oh yeah, if you please. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, uh, we So yes, we have shiny cheese that we are going to attempt to fry in some manner or other. Now we haven't actually decided what that's going to be, we're no. just going to sort of make it up as we go along, much like we usually do. And you guys get to listen along at home. Or watch it, depending on which medium you choose. Yeah, because we're going to make this a little special thing of uh, video extravaganza for your yes. youtube -y pleasure. So for that coming once we've edited gubbins. But yes, meanwhile we have cheese yes, and a hob and a frying pan or two. Is that really the best way you, uh, you fry cheese is by keeping it in the saucepan? You know. I Mine just fell out! Hey. Oh no! Double fry! Hey. Alright, show off. I thank you all. <laughs> right. We were just flipping the cheese there for anyone yes. who can't be bothered to view us. But, um, <laughs> if you can't be, then shame on you! Well, good for you for not being a voyeur and watching us all the time. Depending on your outlook, I mean, naturally, we're so narcissistic we don't mind. Narcissism. It returns. Oh um, no! Back to the cheese. Yeah, back to the cheese. <laughs> so, my first question is this: How make cheese out? I mean, again, you can't see this, but I'm looking at the I'm looking at the protective foil of this right now, and I mean, it does it seem seems to be almost surrounded. impossible to get into. Yes, there does seem to be some sort of force field. Yes. Hmm. I mean, do, do I hit it? I think stab it. Stab it! Stab it. Fabulous! Stab it with the mighty dual stabbing action of Sky Sauce. Sky Sauce! New action figure coming soon. Yeah. There you go. You, yeah. know, you know how to snip packaging off cheese. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. we had you going there, uh, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, oh, we, you thought, you thought we had no idea how to go into, into cheese. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like we didn't, yeah. Oh uh, dear. You know those lives we were talking about getting? Yeah. <laughs> Forced to sing, I know you, I walked with you once upon a a robot love story. <laughs> uh, it's the Disney warble. Whenever you listen to any of those old classic films, all the uh, singers are... <laughs> which is Mogwai, I know, but anyway. Um, Mogwai! Uh, moving back moving to on. cheese. Moving back to the cheese. Yes, so pantomime is great. Yes. And uh, we're now here with our own endeavours. Yes. So we've successfully extricated, or at least opened, the packet of cheese. Wensleydale! Mature cheddar. Ooh. Ooh. Delia would be proud of us. Yes, I'm sure Wallace is doing is doing his hand movements as we speak. Very eloquently put. I thought so. Um, yes. Meanwhile, Gromit's probably rolling his eyes. When isn't Gromit rolling his eyes? Hmm. The question go. on everybody's lips. Indeed. Mm. 
So to fry cheese, we have yes. frying pans. Mm -hmm. We've got one that's small, that's sort of like I don't know, single fried egg kind of size, and we've got one that's larger, that's maybe two fried eggs kind of size. And um, I don't know. I mean, I was. You're the one that originally saw the fried cheese experience. I'm I mean, not we, quite we sure what I truly remember. Before. Maybe we need to put you into hypnosis. The more, the more I, I think about it. I remember a bright white light, and, and they, they put me on a table, and, and there, there was a long metal instrument, and uh, I think it had I a I think you're remembering the something that happened, not me! <laughs> yeah. Did it look anything like this? Ah! I just pulled out a scratch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't hurt me with it, please! So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be... Where's the uh, more suitable spatula? Ah, uh, spatula! This one doesn't damage the pan so much. Um, <laughs> so, yeah... The I problem mean, that I have is that now that I think about it more and more, the only thing that I really remember, I don't even think it was cheese. Okay. I think it was egg. So, are you remembering eggy bread? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on a minute, we spent all this time! Planning this, thinking of the and it cut. All right, well, okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Like the plan, the plan, the plan was. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the plan originally was to do some fried cheese, but the more I thought about it, when I thought about the fact that it wasn't actually fried cheese that I was thinking about, it was. <laughs> now he tells me. <laughs> okay. I thought it was a good idea. And we've also got other bigger frying pans if we want to give ourselves some more breathing space. There you go, clanking noises, genuinely to prove we're in a kitchen. Yes. Um, and a very large frying pan with which he's going to hit me with. Don't let him hit me, you two! Don't let him hit me! I'm afraid I may have to hurt you, Pinky. <laughs> no, Brian. No, Brian. You don't want to hurt me. Here's cheddar. Anyway. <laughs> It made sense in my mind. And he has and he has a go at me for making movie references. No, oh, I don't. You lie. Fine, nonsensical movie references. Yeah, that's what we're all about. Good point, well mate. You um, take your reference in, you take your reference out, in, out, in, in out, you shake it all about. That makes no sense. You half-hearted, half-hour, and you turn around. That's what it's all about. The Hokey Podcast. Oh, the Hokey Podcast. Oh, the Hokey Podcast. Nice name comes in. Ra, 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 stop. I like that. Yes. Mainly because I'm guessing it gives you the chance to mince about like you've always wanted. Yay! I'm wearing my flowery hippie daisy hoodie. So, uh, yes. you know, I'm in that kind of mood. And the sun's yeah. coming out. Oh, yes! Grey and gloomy for It's great! Oh, it emerges in It was so foggy this morning that I actually felt like a blind man. Wow. I'm quite yeah. dreading this, if I'm going to be completely honest. Don't dread the bread, just please the cheese. <sighs> Cat in the hat, eat your heart out. Mm -hmm. Go tell it to the dog in the fog. Wow, this bread is thicker than I thought. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, I was not expecting that. Wow, okay. that's some fairly powerful looking bread. I should have read the word doorstep on the side of this. It honestly says doorstep on the side of the bread packet. That, that's this is also for when, when you, if you let it go stale, then you can use it as an actual doorstop. Let's just show this to the camera yes. properly. This, this, this is my finger. This is the thickness of this bread. See, hand, bread. hand, and, hand and bread. And, right, so now for the listeners, I'll put, hold it up to the microphone. So th this is my hand held up to the microphone, and this is the bread. I mean, you can hear the thickness of, of this bread. So this, this Let me put it this way. This is how I would sound if I was this thick. <laughs> That's how you're normally sounding. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Now then, to dunk the bread into the eggy solution. I'll bring this to the <sighs> visual stage so that people can see yes. what this looks like. So what's your next step then Nick? All right, well my next step is mainly I'm going to be very simple and just putting the olive oil within the pan mm -hmm. at which point 
Only a little bit. Fair enough. So, oh, my bread is breaking. At which point? Would you like your pan, sir? Uh, This might be easier to do in the pan, actually. That, that's a thought. But could, I broke my bread. It's a little bit broken. Um, yes, that, that is actually a surprisingly clever idea. Well done, Nick. Thank you. Your, your um, uncluttered brain has... Uh, every so often I do pop out a small ray of intelligence. I've warned you about doing up your trousers. Yeah, well... Good night, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye, nurse! Uh, good old TV. Uh. Brother, mother, secret lover. Wait, what? Nothing. Right, let's ask it. Do this here. I know you are, dear. I know you are. But what am I? Ooh. So, okay. It's really Take terrifying two. is what you are. Yeah, well, you're the guy who came to my house to cook cheese in a frying pan. You're the guy who invited me to come to your house and cook cheese in a frying pan! Who's the bigger fool? The fool or the fool who follows him? Alex Damn Gibb you, Lucas! Exactly! And although I think it was the same idiom before that, anyway. It probably was, but to be honest, the first time I heard it was in Star Wars, so damn you, Lucas. Indeed. Does it amuse you that we've gotten to a point where our opening episode of Half Heart at Half Hour, we've talked about nothing but nonsense. Isn't that Last the idea? Time. Well, yes, but no, 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 we were talking about nonsense this time, but this time we seem to have this massive purpose of making the cheese. I, I feel like it's diluting our madness. You know, how water dilutes Ribena. It's diluting our madness. Attempting to fry cheese in a frying pan is diluting our madness? And, and I'm not sure it counts as a massive purpose. I mean, if... It's not like we're trying to attain world peace or solve world hunger. Hey, look, 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 hey, how do you know that fried cheese isn't going to solve world hunger? Don't you wave that cheese knife at me, dude! What did I tell you, be sane? Jeez! <laughs> Nowhere close to you. Nowhere near you. Observe. <laughs> We've got camera evidence of that. Dude. <sighs> he's going to put this up on YouTube and he's going he's gonna, to, you know, have me arrested. Nah, just have you committed. <laughs> right, are you going to slice that cheese? Yeah, I'm doing it. What the... You have a weird way of slicing cheese, man. Why? What? I, 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 what? I'm, I'm going to show this to the camera. And I'll, I'll try and explain it as best I can for the listeners at home. What the hell are you... What? So, you know how you get a cuboid block of cheese, oh, right? I am loud. And it's got sort of the large flat sides. He's laying one of the large flat sides down on the cheese ball. Taking the short stubby cheese knife and is trying to sort of cut along in a few, in several different motions to get a slice of cheese off that. Yes, head. your problem being what? So, turn it onto the smaller cuboidal side, <laughs> place it down on surface, and just one simple downward push motion straight through the block of cheese and sliced. I don't know if that was clearly visible to the camera or not, but I'll just show for the benefit. Slice that way. What he was trying to do, slice that way. It did Just wanted to emphasise that here. I mean, it, it works-ish, but just... Uh, yeah, welcome to my brain versus his. Okay, th this, this highlights the, the difference in approach and visuospatial awareness. But, uh, yeah, how's that for madness, huh? huh? You want some neurosis? Right at ya! Boom! Yeah. Now calm down, Howard Moon. How'd you like them apples? You want apples? I got apples. You can't handle the apples. You know what? You need me on that cheese on that cheese board. You want me on that cheese board because deep down you know that your friend's gonna turn up in a pile of goo. That was your best friend's face. And I'm done. Your face is gonna turn to goo. Well, it already has, really. Good point, well made. Thank you. Your phrase. Anyway, slice that cheese because I need cheese too. You still going? I'm done. Yeah. If you wish to ah, slice. Right. Okay, so let's let's show your work. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. He's got a nice array of evenly spaced slices of cheese uh, on one side of the bread. Now at this point, nothing has been cooked. He's just arranged them on the bread. He's got some oil in his pan and he's at the ready. Meanwhile, I have my nicely eggy saturated yes. whole wedge of bread 
sitting again in a cold pan at the moment. Um, Things are about to ignite. Yes, we're now going to start playing with fire. He's a fire starter. Twisty fire starter. There we go. That's the music I should get on my phone. Anyway. <laughs> right. Hi, hi, hi. Right. Um, <gasps> like that sound in the background. You sigh yeah. at me. It's, it's in the track. Yeah, I I know stuff about popular music. I know nothing about popular music. Yeah, neither do I. Cheese, move, <laughs> fried cheese. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Hey. <laughs> okay, cheerio, everybody. We'll see you next time for more capering capers of delight Madness. and wonder. And yeah, the hefty heap of madness with half hour and half hour. I've been David Bella. I've been Random Nick. Toodle everybody. Okay, that's cool.